hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is claudia nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection uh if this is your first time ever coming across my face i hope that you enjoy the content that i put out i do keep a lot of playlists of all the various uh fragrances that i may have talked about so make sure you check the description it'll have a full playlist i just went over all of my uh collection and i broke them down into sections the way i have it divided and to each and every one of y'all who come back each and every time i greatly appreciate you thank you thank you thank you let's get into what am i wearing for july stay tuned all right so let's talk about it what am i wearing or what is going to be on my july shelf um if you have been following my journey, you know that I don't have a tray per se. <laughs> I have a, like a shelf that I sit them on. Uh, so what am I going to be wearing? I'm going to break them down in no particular order, but just to let you know each one. I'm going to wear Almaz by Kajal. This one, I've been waiting. Ooh, I've been waiting to wear this one. This is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is amazing. Everything about this is, uh, I cannot wait. It has a bit of citrus note to it, um, kind of berry. I'll make sure that I list the notes of this one here, but this will be on my shelf. Sticking with the same family, I'm going to do Dahab. Dahab is going to be in my uh, on my shell oh i cannot wait this one has this gourmand deliciousness to it um i'm not certain if this is the one with pine no no this is not the one with pineapple but, but this is absolutely beautiful this is probably going to be one of my date night fragrances for this month i can't wait i can't wait i get so excited about doing these trays uh this is the one that uh has the pineapple note and that's lamar i oh i truly enjoy this one so much a lot of people um are very hesitant about this one and i'm not sure why um i think that is a beautiful fragrance so i am so happy to have it in my collection and i'm looking forward to wearing it this month it is beginning to get hot so i think that the the projection on these would be amazing. My next one, I had to go and get another pineapple one. This one smells like a, uh, almost like a pineapple upside down cake. Uh, and it is Pink Mahogany's Paz on, uh, what is it? Encore Naman. Oh, it's the pineapple in this one. Oh, I love this one. This has to be one of her top sellers. If not, it should be one of her top sellers. So this is going to be on the shelf. Sticking with the same house. I am looking forward to wearing summer, summer, summer time. This one here uh, is one that has this gorgeous fruity banana note to it, right? It's one of the banana and chocolate blends that uh, I am so looking forward to having on. I love a good gourmand, but also like a fruity base behind my gourmand. So summer, summer, summer time uh, is going to be on the shelf. Uh, which one I want to do next? I want to keep up with all the ones. The ones I'm going to use for layering, I'm going I'm to put that towards the back. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I get them in the order. Uh, this one here is Wild Fruits. Can't wait. Can't wait. Wild Fruits is a, it's like a bowl of a fruit, basically. I know that sounds crazy to say it that way, but it's like a fruit cocktail. Wild Fruits is so many different fruits all blended together. I think that it screams, it screams summertime. Wild Fruits by Mancera, I think screams summertime. You cannot have a summer lineup and not have Perfume de Mali's Orion. Now, a lot of people feel about that marshmallow note, 
that's in and they say, okay, well, that would be too heavy, too syrupy. I think this wears beautifully in the summertime. I mean, you're talking about mandarin orange and bergamot and, and uh, like orange blossom in it. It also has like a beautiful base to it of amberette, like, and the marshmallow. Like, who's, who doesn't like this one? <laughs> but I, I get it, you know. Fragrance is subjective. There may be a few people who this is not their fragrance, but I love it. And you can't, uh, I had to bring out this one. This is Fenty. I love the blueberry note in this, but this quickly turns into this gorgeous Turkish rose base. Like, I'm uncertain to what all is in here based on the notes. You, Of course, I know you're saying the notes of it. But Fenty, to me, is beautiful on skin. Like, the dry down just makes you smell so gorgeous. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you know, they always say that Rihanna smells amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if she's wearing her own fragrance, right? Because every time I put this on, I get a compliment. Like, someone tells me, oh, my God, you smell really good. And it's not... Like some people say it's too heavy and patchouli or it's too musky or whatever, but it's like a sexy, it's sexy to me. I love Fenty. So whenever I have an opportunity to wear it, I make sure that I pull it out. And I wanted to add a more powdery one uh, to the shelf. So I'm doing angel dust. And I all, I think I just most recently spoke about France, uh, Francesca Bianca, Bianca, see, she tends to put like a heliotrope, orris root, like that seems to be in all of her fragrances. Like it's it's this gorgeous, clean powderiness, not the lipstick powdery or a um, baby powder powdery, but like a cleanness to it. Even though her fragrances has all these different notes in it, it's always this beautiful clean base love it can't wait so now we're going to get into what am i going to be layering with my fragrances this uh month i'm gonna use banana banshee and if you haven't got into hertz uh his perfume i do have a discount code for them try it out it's so many of them i'll make sure that i link in the cards uh my heads video when i talked about all of the ones that i have in my collection great banana banshee is going to bring out like a more banana note uh beautifully paired with summer summertime if i wanted to get more of a like a banana split i might do uh pink mahogany's passe um encore nomé if i just want to have more fruity like fruity cocktail wild fruit and banana banshee this is going to be a gorgeous layering option okay my next one i'm gonna use for layering is going to be cafe beignet also by his perfumes this is going to give me that powdery base uh probably work great with my angel dust if i want to soften some of the heavy patchouli that everyone feels like they get in fenty then i'm gonna use cafe beignet if i want to add uh just a bit of softness to anything. Orion. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to make sure to try it to tell y'all. But I, I believe that it's going to work amazing. Cafe Beignet. Another one I'm going to use is for layering. If you are into Baccarat uh, and you haven't heard of Ned, uh, Nazar perfumes or fragrances, I think you should get into it because liquid compliments gives you like this abroxin i.e super base to it right it just pulls out all of your beautiful scent is what i think liquid compliments does it pulls it out and then blends it in with anything like blend it in with the hob right it'll give my own personal note to it that's what i think that liquid compliments does uh, adding it to Orion, you know, is going to give me just an added difference, which is going to make me not smell so familiar as everyone who's wearing it. Liquid compliments. Another one from that line, almost on the same level of that same family is Dip. 
but dip is going to give you um sweetness so if you want to add sweetness to it um i don't really think that pasta no uh encore no needs any more sweetness but if you wanted to take it up a notch then i think dip if you want to take wild fruit up a notch then i say dip if you want to just add a little more fruitiness uh sweetness to fenty uh pull out more of that blueberry dip i think it's gonna work great and then to round off for my pairings or layerings is going to be my all-time favorite which is blood cordon uh blood cherry cordon by dream house okuro this is going to add cherry to anything you name it if you if you want to add cherry then i say you should add this one here so this is my july i didn't really pick a lot of fragrances um because i really want to kind of dive a little deeper into all of my fragrances i want to wear them and i find that if i pick too many of them I, I don't really get a good chance to wear a lot of them uh so i picked a couple of uh major primaries and then i picked some layerings so i hope to truly enjoy july and i know that i will and as i always do if you're not familiar with it i come back at the end of the month i tell you if there's any of them that uh might not make it back to the shelf i don't know if that'll be the case or if uh what did i find as a new layering option i look so forward into doing that i really hope that you all have enjoyed and i've given you some ideas of what to add to your july tray on that note i wish you the very best night and Anytime that you got an opportunity to watch this video, I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.